go under his legs, gable grip, just push forward and then rest him right on my knee. My knee's going directly into his spot. This is perfect right here. All right, that'd be awesome if I could just push through and go right to the side control. Once he feels that, that I have that path to side control, he might try rolling over his back, his shoulder, and put me back in the guard, just like this. At first, he doesn't want to do that right away, because he's exposing his back. At first, he's going to try to keep his knees, his hips down, make it really hard here, and when I come through, he'll come this way, and we're just constantly battling the legs, constantly. And never, it's never, usually never under, pick him up, and go through him. We're just practicing the perfect path with some resistance. In reality, you're gonna be fighting these legs. It's gonna be hard to get through. But then when you finally do get through, you got him up here, he has a choice. He's, he's past the point of no return. I'm about to pass, or he could roll over quick and then put me back in his guard. All right, so if you anticipate that escape and have a good D'Souza control, you could turn that into back control. Because he knows it's dangerous and we gotta make him pay for it. So I pick him up, stick my knee right in his, his spine, we're doing it nice and slow. I bring him over, and he wants to roll, I grab his ankles so that he can't continue the roll. As I drive my left knee in, in deep inside, in front of his stomach. Flat my foot here, now I got him. We can go in here too. I like grabbing the ankles. Pull my top, trunk, swing him forward, over or under, got the back. He's gonna put, he's gonna fight 75%. No. He's gonna stay on the side. Now we, remember, the, just the basic, the basic fundamentals of back attack is we have the over under, that's the number one thing. And with the, once we have this position secured, now we, we hand fight, we wanna make it one on one. My underarm tries to take his right arm out while my left arm creeps up, trying to grab the shoulder, stay tight. This could be a crazy battle here. You might not even win this battle many levels to this control. Sometimes you lose it, you bring it out, and you do this just a little bit more, and then you sink it up. Squeeze the anaconda. Some people forget to squeeze. If you have to use your hand to cinch it in, use it in. Use your hand. After 200, 300 times, you won't have to use your hand as much. You'll just flip it, all right? So, we're picking them up. Rolling them over, grab the ankle, and I just swing my left knee in. Truck, swing them forward, over under. Put the hooks in, hand fight, make it one on one. And as we squeeze that rear naked choke, I'm squeezing that out of combat, bending his back. People put it in a lot, don't squeeze, they forget to. Yes? Uh, what are the details when you're trying to? Pass, you know, when you have the double unders, I know you said push on the hip, but do you do that after you go across the neck, or what is, what is the time? Push on the hip, what do you mean? Uh, you were saying, I mean, I'm um, no, if I wasn't rolling, you were just trying to pass the guard, you were reaching across the neck, and then you were pushing the hip down, right? No, I was holding the hip up. As long as I can get, keep your hips up off the ground, the chances of me getting past you increase. Right? If, I, if I'm battling here, and you're just keeping your your hips on the ground, if I'm out, keep your hips on the ground, defense. I can't pick you up at all, so you battle. But if I can pick you up, now, so you, you keep it on the right side, side. Yeah, I'm holding you up here. See, yeah, I mean, if you, okay, never mind. So, I mean, this still isn't guaranteed to pass, but man, I'm almost there. Okay. So you keep this on. Guys are really flexible, but even at that point, it's, it's hard to get you. But, you know, this is just a jumping jack. You gotta be able to do it nice and slow before you do it fast. Just like anything. Pick them up. Got to be able to control. Got it? Remember this one? So the guy in the guard, you're gonna resist a little bit, but then you're gonna try to roll over and put it back in your guard. He should stop you halfway. You see how the roll will swing me right into the D'Souza control. I'm like, I'm not even on my left, uh, my left foot. I'm just slicing that knee through right here. Once we're here, look at this. You see how I just dove into the, look at my left knee. I'm here. All right, let's 
So how did you uh, how did you like meet up with uh, Scott Epstein? Uh, through uh, through Eddie. Through Eddie. Yeah, I had known Eddie for a while. I worked with Eddie for a while, and uh, met Scott, and he was telling me some stuff, and really liked some of the stuff he was doing. So so I worked with him. Very cool. And he, you brought him on to the the new season of the Ultimate Fighter, right? Yeah, I brought him on. I thought he's I think he's a great teacher. I mean, he's really detail oriented, which uh, you know I think even a lot of great submission guys are. Don't have as much, don't know how to teach as much detail as he does. You know, I mean, they might be able to, they probably can do it, similar stuff, and but they're just, he breaks it down very well for people. That's awesome. And he's got you doing some kind of crazy, like, workout routine in there. Um, is that sort of top secret or? or? Well, it's not top secret, it's a t style of working out. It works good for me. You know, not, not a lot of risk for injury. Right on. Great strength gain. Um, it's been working real good for me, so, you know, plus I get it done once a week. You know, I do plenty of the other stuff all week long and get in here and do some power power stuff nice. once a week. And uh, you guys are opening the gym together, is that correct? Uh, yeah, we'll be opening the gym uh, sometime soon. I'm not sure when. They're looking at places right now and get it going. Will it be in the greater Los Angeles area or are you guys going to make it somewhere else? Um, I'm not sure. He's looking at a place over by Beverly Hills. So oh, sweet. Somewhere. So somewhat close, but I, I mean, I guess they have far enough distance from, from the other 10th Planet schools. Oh, from Legends? Yeah. Right on. Cool. Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for taking time to uh, talk to us today. Uh, no problem. Anytime. Um, the last series we're going to work on is um, the hip bump sweep to the mount. Guy on top is resisting 75%. Make him work that thrust. To the mountain, the guy on the bottom, the amount is going to defend. And then C cup the armpits to a hail mary. <coughs> right? Another flexibility isn't just for the rubber guard. This has nothing to do with rubber guard, but flexibility can <laughs> save your ass. It can save your ass out of side control. Someone saw in side control. Real flexible guys get out of size control way easier. It's like uh, try keeping side control on Eric Rainey. His legs are just, it's very hard. Very hard to pass this car. Um, but here, Laylock is going to hit bump sweep me. I'm in his full guard. He wants to break me down. He would probably <laughs> rather have me in a good, in chill dog or an invisible collar. I don't want to be there. I want to, as long as I have my posture here, he can't do shit. And in MMA, if I have my posture, he can't submit me, and I can hit him. In MMA, if I don't have posture, I can barely hit him, and he can submit me. You always want to rule that posture. If you can't rule a posture, some guys, you just can't rule their posture. They have great control, and they're a lot bigger than you. You have to get good at hip bump sweeps. All right? So, at, at first, you got to get really good at swinging to the left and the right and open up this, there we go. And now, he's going to sit up and overhook this arm and yank and twist me and pull me. And it worked. Now he's got in the mount. That's a big money move. He swept me into the mount. Huge. He didn't have to pass the guard. He didn't have to stabilize side control. He didn't have to mount from side control. All one big money move. Sweep, pass, mount. And now from here, he's gonna, he'll, he can even skydive across his, his legs. And what I'm gonna do is, you can try, you know, you can try using your flexibility here with escape from Alcatraz. It's a tough one. Or you can go for an escape. That'll, that'll get you an escape to uh, half guard, which is great. But this escape, C cup on his armpits, swinging my legs over and crossing my feet here. This leads to the end of the match. It could change everything. Again. So he's, I, I got great posture in another fucking parallel universe. Uh, he sweeps me. I defend T-Rex. And remember, you don't want to push up off the chest here because he can arm bar me. You're just giving him an arm bar. Show him.
So when, when you blast up and you make that room, C cupping his armpit makes it hard for him to armbar me. And I'm pushing him up over me. It's hard to armbar me here. I swing my legs over. As soon as they're crossed here, I know I got them. Now I'm gonna thrust up, overhook, hug the leg I'm gonna attack, and grab the ankle, the one I'm not gonna attack, and control it and open it up. Once I got my feet crossed here, I'm gonna heel hook him, or sit up, bend his leg, and go in Minari style. Toe hook here. Sitting up, keeping his leg bent, makes it very hard for him to spin and escape. Here, if he escapes this leg here, now here he can spin and pull that leg out. So sitting up would be a preferred. Yes, that's what a Minari does, and that motherfucker is probably the best at this. <laughs> So that's a successful hip bump sweep to a Hail Mary heel hook. Now, we're gonna do a failed hip bump sweep to a ninja choke. He's got a good posture, I can't break him down. I'm swinging open, I try to hip bump sweep, it doesn't work. I'm posting out on the mat, trying to overhook this arm. Can't do it, so when I sit back, I can sit back for a guillotine, or I could just overhook his forearm here. And the, the important thing here is keeping his head under my armpit. And here, as long as you have an opening, and you can stick your arm all the way through and grab your bicep, he's done. The hard part is getting this arm. If he's real tight, you might not be able to get in there. But if you can, done. Ninja choke. 